Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again bringing you another much demanded how-to episode. Today's how-to is going to cover how do you actually unlock the Samsung Gear S as well as set up the Samsung Gear S without using a Samsung device. And ironically, the steps to do both are actually the same thing. So today it's going to be a two-for-one fire sale. And before I begin, I just want to quickly note that this step is actually probably similar to the ones to use for the Gear 2 and the Gear 2 Neo. So I'm, I found this online in a form as well as through some of you guys who pointed it out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. So let's dive right on in. Alright, for those of you trying to set up the Samsung Gear S without the use of a Samsung device, you can go ahead and skip in the marker down below. But for those of you who want to go ahead and unlock the Gear S and who already own one, what you want to simply do is first you have to factory reset your watch. So you want to go into settings, go into reset gear. You're going to lose all your data and stuff just to, just to know that all your apps will be deleted and you're going to factory reset your Gear S. Alright folks, once the Samsung Gear S is finished factory resetting or one, um, if you're taking it out of the box and turning it on for the first time, after the little intro screen, this is the screen that you're going to see. Um, it's going to ask you to go ahead and uh, connect it to this, uh, download the Samsung Gear app on your Samsung device and stuff. But what you want to do here is when this screen comes up, you see that little icon right there that shows the Gear S? Go ahead, you're going to want to tap that about 25 to 35 times, anywhere between. There we go, here we go. Oh, now you got to press and hold. Once that memo comes up, press and hold for about five seconds, I think. Boom, there we go. And here it is. So if you look at it, the watch just set up without the help of the Gear App Manager from a Samsung device. So now it's completely activated without a Samsung device. And actually what you're seeing now is a typical tutorial that you would have to go through if you did download the Gear App on your Samsung device, which now you don't need. Uh, and right now you see it's actually taking me through a tutorial that you've probably seen in a lot of unboxing videos as well as my own unboxing video where it shows you how to use the device. As you can see here, right now I am using the Gear S without it being tethered to a phone right now. Alright folks, well there you have it. That's how you unlock your Samsung Gear S as well as set up the Gear S without using a Samsung device. But there are a few issues that I want to go ahead and address before I close out this video that I think you should heed my warnings on. So, first of all, you need to get the data plan and a proper SIM card that's activated for the Samsung Gear S for it to work in this mode. So right now, it's truly in standalone mode. What I mean by that is, it's right now currently connected to my 4G service right now because I do have a data plan on that SIM card that I have in the watch, which will go right back there, okay? But, but the functions that you still get out of it is you can still get uh, maps, which is using the here for gear, as long as you have the location data on. You still can you can still use SS Health, so you can still keep track of your exercises as well as your pedometer. Um, you get you still get weather, and you can still go ahead and set your alarms and everything. Um, on top of you can also look at the gallery and music player with uh, all the stuff that's stored on the Gear S device. And if you need help. Um, figuring out how to transfer files to the Gear S, you can go ahead and follow the link um, down below, as well as just go into my how to my Gear S uh, playlist that I set up. I did I did cover that in that topic, but you can go ahead and view pictures and play music from the Gear S using um, using that function. But other than that, you, that's all it could do at by itself. You can't you can't transfer any other apps without a Samsung device because it's managed. The Gear apps are managed through the Gear App Manager in the Samsung device, so. Please keep that in mind for those of you thinking about just using the watch by itself. You can really consider the, wa the watch being like the old 2G phone back in the day um, and just with those capabilities and that's it. Now for those of you trying to unlock the Gear S so you can connect it to a non-Samsung device like an iPhone or another Android device, um, I made a separate video on how to do that which I'm going to link down below here. Um, I encourage you to watch that because I do go over uh, step by step on how to connect it to a non-Samsung device. But at the same time, I go over a lot of points that you should consider before even thinking about purchasing this if you already haven't purchased it, as well as if you already currently own a gear device and you're thinking about switching it over, I really encourage you to watch that because I go over a lot of points that you should consider before making the jump. All right, folks, I hope that video did help answer your question there. If you have any additional questions or just want to learn more about the Gear S, 
please go ahead and hit this little video link over here, which will take you to my video list of all the videos that I created for the gear as Q and A's, how to's, and reviews, which should help you. But if you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and it's either going to be me or someone from the community will go ahead and help answer your question. But I do make it a, a point of mine to try to answer your question within at least the same day. Also, if you want to check out my other tech videos that I've done, my mashups, my reviews, please go ahead and hit that video down there, which will take you to actually my very first uh, Samsung Gear R video, but also you'll have a playlist to all my other tech videos. And as always, folks, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video to let me know if you liked or disliked this video. And finally, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to help support my channel and to see some of the other content that I've done. Finally, just want to thank you for watching my video. And if I don't see you next time, thank you for stopping by and just checking out my channel. But if you do plan on coming back and checking some other stuff, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>